Hi there and uh, welcome to this uh, new video of the Floss Marketing School. I'm going to show you how you can install Metabase on uh, your local server. And the good news is that you don't even need to have um, already a local server running. I mean, Metabase is going to install it uh, for you automatically. Um, so this is uh, very good if you want to, uh, to test uh, Metabase before uh, trying to put it on a real server. So let's get started. First thing that uh, you need to know is that you need to go on the website of uh, Metabase um, over here. So you go on Metabase, and the Metabase you get get started and you click on it. And here down below you get the file that you need. Okay, the Metabase.gr is the one that, uh, that you need. So just click on it and here you just click on download Metabase. Uh, once it's done, you will get um, a zip file uh, that you will need to, of course, unzip. And once you unzip, yep, sorry for that. Um, once you unzip it, uh, this is uh, what you will get. Okay, so um, you'll get this given, those given files, and then the file that you need to execute is the following one, right? It's metabase dot. Uh, JR. So uh, once it's unzip, you just need to run the following command and it will uh, run uh, Metabase. So just need to copy that and then to just fire it like this. So it's just a file that you download, you unzip it, and then you execute the line and then you are ready to go. So of course you wait a little bit and uh, it's going to tell you in fact on which uh, URL you can access to the local server. So in my case, it's currently running, running. So you wait a little bit and uh, blah, blah, blah. So it's waiting. Okay. 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 It's doing stuff. And, uh, mm -mm -mm. Metabase initialization complete. Okay. Okay. In any cases, uh, it's going to develop. It's going to put it on a local host, two point three thousand. That's the uh, port by default. So this is how it looks like. Um, you will have uh, a first page first asking for the credential that you would like to. Uh, um, to use and then sits down uh, it, it's asking you if you would like already to import a sample of data if you don't it's it's not a problem you can then uh, move and you will end up on this given page and then from here you can already start to play with uh, the data that they give at uh, your disposal so you can just click here on ask a question just click on simple questions and just click on simple data set then just select people then you will start to see that there are already a lot of uh, data which are uh, provided and here you can already start to play with the different column that uh, that you want uh, let's imagine for example that uh, here our wish is to play with i don't know um, I know just to get the count of rows, you can just click on down and then you know that uh, within this given spreadsheet, which was shown to you, uh, there is 2,500 uh, people. And then of course, thanks to this, you can already save the data and then decided uh, to put it within uh, within your collection. And then um, uh, for example, add this to a given dashboard. So it's going to be like personal, I customize dashboard, dash dashboard and um, and yes you can create it like this and then you get uh, your first widgets on with the number of uh, people for this given uh, set of data and that's everything that I wanted to show you so in order to uh, kickstart uh, your project with Metabase just to let you know that it's really straightforward thanks for watching